for this run of four cars. And a couple more coming out to join them. 31 minutes to go in the first of two rounds of practice. Casey Kane out front of A.J. Allmendinger. With uh, some help there. Danica Patrick there, third in line. Is that that is a two Perry riding along with it? Turbocharged, supercharged. Well, she just gained not that my daughter was an already a fan, but my, both my kids are gonna be big fans of that car with the two fairies on the hood. <laughs> and is that Matthew Benedetto with him? No one thing, the yes, price of teeth have gone up. <laughs> oh. oh. Jamie. <laughs> turned 15 laps so what you learn about your race car and the draft so far uh we wanted to get an idea where it would be balance wise you know we we felt like we we're a little bit free in um you know and that's going to be one of the one of the things we fight in the race here i think daytona really came into play so we're going to go make another run with our lost travel stop csx or fusion we got both on board this weekend but uh we're going to go out there and, and see if we can mess with heights a little bit and try and work on that balance just fine tune it and then we'll get ready for the Chris Bush, you're making a second start here in the Cup Series at Talladega. Chris brings up a really good point. We don't think of Talladega as a handling racetrack like Daytona. We saw handling became a big issue at Daytona uh, for a lot of teams. We saw tar some cars spin out. Like Kevin Harvick, we saw Chase Elliott, uh, you know, Dale Jr. had some issues all by themselves. Here at Talladega, there is a little bit of that that happens through the transition from the straightaway into the corner. And so Chris Buescher brought that up about how the car gets a little bit loose getting in. If you're in a tight pack, cars are right on your bumper or the outside of you, it will get your car loose. So you do need to be you know, conscious of it, but you also have to know that there's not a lot you can do about that here at this track. Larry, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the same tire we've been running since like 2014, I think. I don't think they made a tire change here in the last several races. The tires really are not an issue. Uh, we've seen two tire changes here and really very little tire wear and even new tires not making a big, big difference. If you're in the middle of a pack and your car's a little loose getting in, yeah, it will it will make a, a slight improvement to the handling. Hey, yes. Gerald, same combination since October 2014, and this is actually the same left side tire that we raced at Daytona in February. And, and, and Jeff, Larry and I have talked about this a lot of times at Daytona and Talladega particularly. At least, I, I yeah, want we're qualifying. <laughs> If I gotta make one of those wild moves from the top to the bottom to the middle up to you know, I gotta have that car under me. I can't have that thing jumping sideways and getting loose and getting into somebody. That's what forward tires or good handling car will do for you. It gives you those options to make those big moves you need to make. Yeah, if I don't have good track position at the end of this race, I want four fresh tires. <laughs> <laughs> Eight Chevrolets and two Fords among the fastest ten.